Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Welcome back to News 10 this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day so far. For our Thursday, another shot of storms are possible, and some could be on the stronger side as we head through the day. Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker is already picking up on some activity through Illinois right now for the morning hours. This is tracking north and to the east, so it is like Charleston and moving into our viewing area here. Uh, Interstate 57 eastward on Interstate 70. Looking like we could see some activity once again this morning. There's already some stronger storms passing through Champaign. None of them are to severe limits, but nonetheless, still a good amount of lightning out there, some heavy rainfall, and even that, this will be moving northeast, and we could all see some of that by daybreak here in Indiana, as I expect these storms to pop up here across our region here in Indiana as we get towards uh, right around 7 o'clock this morning, and maybe a little bit earlier than that. We had a decent amount of precipitation. Rainfall totals over the past 24 hours, right around 6 tenths of an inch right here in Terre Haute. Some of the heavier rainfall was off to the south and to the northeast there yesterday, about a half an inch in Alney. Uh, not so much in uh, Effingham, but about 7 tenths there off to the west in Mattoon. This is why we do have some flood alerts going on over through today and into really tomorrow morning as we await more rainfall and the burst of heavy rainfall as possible as we see some of those storms develop through today. So flood alerts once again, we do have a flash flood watch for all the counties here through the remainder of today into about tomorrow morning through the overnight hours. That means with some of the heavier rainfall over the next 24 hours, some of the areas, some roads, some uh, back roads there, some localized flooding is definitely possible. Once again, I'd like to remind you, please do not drive through any running water, standing water on the roads. Do turn around and try to find another route. What we're tracking for today is some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms through the morning. By the afternoon, uh, activity can actually hold off for a little bit. Uh, might see some sunshine, but by the evening hours, stronger storms are possible. Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will be in here later today, and I'll probably be here as well watching those storms if they do develop. 62 degrees right now currently, so it's pretty mild out there. South Southwest breeze right around 5 miles per hour, dew point at 59 degrees. That is kind of good. That, that means we have a decent amount of moisture to work with, and that's what's helping spark some of these uh, stronger storms once again this morning. We do have an en enhanced risk for severe storms uh, as we head through the day today. That's this whole orange region. That means we have numerous severe storms, uh, which could be possible as we head through the day today, especially as that cold front reaches us later on today. Day. So once again, keep that in mind throughout the afternoon. We could start to see some hail, some stronger wind, and we'll look at the severe risk right here. Uh, flooding is one of the higher uh, areas that we could see with the heavier rainfall and also wind gusts and hail as we head through the day. Here's a look at the future cast temperatures in the lower 60s at 8 a.m. The rain's moving on through. You'll notice by the afternoon we do dry up just a tad. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s will be topping off right around 77 degrees. Here comes the cold front though, right around 10 o'clock. This is the time frame that we will really be watching as we head into this evening as storms can really develop there. We dry up through the overnight falling down to the 40s by tomorrow afternoon though. First day this week that we could actually stay dry, stay sunny, stay quiet, stay calm. Just a going to be a nice day for our Friday. That'll be good to see 50 degrees by our Saturday morning in Paris. WTHITV.com will have all your updates. Storm Team 10 weather app as well. Get that if you can. Today we'll be topping off at 77 degrees. Isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. Severe storms are definitely possible as we head through the day today. Keep all your updates right here at News 10. Seven day forecast right around 77 degrees for our Thursday. 64 for our Friday. We do clear up nicely for the weekend. So if you have plans for the weekend, it's going to be looking pretty good Saturday and Sunday before rain returns next week.